Hey there everybody, Jerry here from Android Central and we're gonna have a look at my fishing companion. If you like to fish and you like Android phones, this brings the two together and I was pretty impressed so I wanted to dive right in and, and have a look at it and share it with you guys. When you fire up the app, you come to this basic landing screen and you've got four tabs across the top, fish, weather, locations, and gear. We'll look at all those individually here real quick. Uh, this screen, the, the fish tab, allows you to add information about fish you've, we'll bring it open, not only fish you've caught, but fish you lost, fish you've seen, fish that are spawning, fish you're following, you know, anything from carp to steelhead will move up in and out of creeks. You can follow all that sort of stuff here. You can, uh, you put in the, the type, the, the size, the weight, whether they're male or female, the technique, you go here and it allows you to put in some weather data about how the weather was when you caught it, what gear you used, and we'll look at that later. It's That's the really cool part I like about this. It allows you to create default gear setups. Uh, GPS tells you where you caught it. And there's media. You can add uh, you know, images, videos, audio. You could you know, put an audio of yourself saying, oh man, I caught the biggest fish in the world. Uh, you know, that's all cool stuff. I can see a use case for all of it. And, you know, I was pretty impressed. So you can do all that and you hit the button and you add the fish and then you can come over and look at them. I've thrown in a fake one because uh, it's just November and I don't fish in November, guys. Sorry about that. But we'll have a look and pretend that I could fish. Here's, you know, all the, that information that you're allowed to put in. Here it is, easy to read. Uh, you can see there's the weight, uh, the technique I used was luck. Any fisherman will tell you that's the most popular fishing technique. There's the gear info, or yeah, gear info for the gear that I, I used. Uh, you can share it, you click this button and you can share it anywhere. Google Plus, Twitter, you know, just like any other app that uses the APIs, you can share it throughout. Go back and edit it if you found you made a typo. Uh, you can even hit the map and look and see where you caught it. So, you know, that's that's really cool. Gives you a lot of information about fish you've caught. You got that star here. You can favorite it or unfavorite it, and we'll see what that does. It does, you know, just what you think it would be. There's your favorites. Uh, one day, hopefully, I'll have so many fish that I need a way to keep track of them all. And when that day ever comes, or if you're a better fisherman than me, and your database is huge, you can search through it by species or whatever this part was really cool view on the map it uh you know it, it shows me the places where i've caught fish if i'm spending a weekend along the potomac river i can see at a quick glance where i've caught fish and where i haven't and where i don't want to bother with trying again so that was really cool go here to the weather uh it's just what you'd expect you can there's your local you know current weather for the location you're at by gps Here's the forecast, here's what's coming up. Uh, if it's a location that you're going to be at all the time, you can add it, and we'll look at that here in a second, but here's a quick way to add it. You can also look up weather for, you know, anywhere by zip code, map, location, moon phase. If you, you know, like to fish for a species of fish that the moon phase means a lot, that gives you the moon phases. Go to locations, you can, uh, like we saw, you can add one through the weather portion or you can go here, click the button and add it. You can go back and view the different locations. Here's Clearbrook Park. That's a little place where they stock trout. I can go and look and see what the weather is there. I can view it on the map. You know, it gives me all sorts of little options. Of course, I can edit and share it. A little bit of notes you can put in. You know, some trout stocking goes on there. It gives you all your locations listed out. So that's really handy. Uh, the latest location, there's where I'm sitting now. Uh, it says it's a city, you know, what can you do? I guess it's a tiny city. And you go to gear, and this is the part that really impressed me. Anybody that fishes will tell you that they spend way too much money and time fooling with the gear. Here's a cool way to keep a little bit of track of it. Go in here and you can add things like the line, the lures, reels, rods. You can add all that stuff in here. Uh, you go back and you can view what you've added. I put in, you know, my Christmas wish list from the Cabela's catalog. I want a new fly rod. Can you hear me, Santa? So there's there's all this stuff there. And then you can go back and, you know, you've got all this stuff all laid out individually, spread around. You can push this button and pick through it, and you can make a setup. There's a, 
And my number four weight, you know, wet fly setup that I'd love to have. I can take it out and catch trout and stuff. So I have, you know, setups here that's, you know, if I had five or six of them, different ones, I would have a choice when I go through and add a fish. It gives me my setup right there so I can just pick which one I use to catch the fish with. And I think that's really handy and it's a, a good way to solve the problem that, you know, nobody is going to sit and type on a touch screen what exactly gear they use to catch a fish while they're alongside the creek. So this is a quick way to do all that at home. And now when you're on the, quick, the creek, you can just hit a quick button. Uh, you know, I think this is a really cool app. It's definitely one that I, you know, I upgraded to the paid version. We, we did the demo version just so you, you all can see uh, what you're getting yourself into. I always recommend to check out the demo version if you can. And we'll have links in the post. And if you are a fisherman and you are a smartphone nerd like me, you might want to jump on this. Anyway, I'll talk to you all later. You have a good one.